Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to do your own Gel X nails at home. Everything that I have here is from Amazon, and if it's not from Amazon, I'm going to put a link in the description box below of something similar or something that I've used in the past from there, so you can get everything that you need all in one place. Starting off with Una Jella's False Nails. These are in the shape Almond. I also have them in Coffin Shape. I love these tips. They are such great quality. They're strong and they are long lasting. They are already pre-etched on the inside, which makes it really nice and just easy to apply them onto your nails. The only thing you might have to do is shape them to your actual cuticle area. Um, some of my nail beds have like really flat cuticles or squared cuticles, but for the most part, they fit me perfectly. You're gonna wanna size these from sidewall to sidewall, making sure that there are no gaps. That is super important to make sure that they adhere properly and that you don't have any issues with them popping off. So for your nail prep, you can use a hand file. Now for the sake of time, I have an e-file and I'm gonna use an e-file with my sanding band. Use a hand file if you don't wanna spend the money on an e-file. Now, there are lots to choose from on Amazon and I can link in the description box the first e-file I ever used before I got the Kira Sky one, um, but it is really nice to have an e-file. So if you are thinking of doing your nails long-term, I would you know, suggest getting one here in the future, but for now, you can use your hand file. All you're doing is taking away the shine from your natural nail. So now I'm gonna go in with McCart Base Coat you can purchase a McCart bundle of base coat and top coat right on Amazon. But first I'm gonna start off with the base coat, applying a nice thin layer on all of my nails and I'm gonna cure that in the lamp for about 45 seconds. The next thing I suggest is a flexible UV LED lamp, something like this. Now when I first purchased this, it was like $10 on Amazon. It's $15 now, but they do have a 10% off coupon advertising for this lamp. This just makes the application process 100 times easier. Now you can buy one of those kits on Amazon where they have those lamps already in the kit. I can't stand those lamps personally. I need to see like every single angle of how I'm placing my nail on or I'm gonna cure it on crooked at least Two or three nails I cure on Cricut when I use one of those lamps. One of these, I hardly ever cure them on Cricut. It's just, it just makes the process a lot easier and I suggest one of these 100%. Going in with that same base coat that I applied on at the very beginning, I'm just applying a slip layer onto the gel nail itself and then I'm gonna put a little glop of it at the cuticle area, apply into my natural nail at a 45 degree angle so there are no air bubbles. And then I'm gonna cure this under my lamp here for about 15 seconds. I would suggest a full cure in a big lamp. However, you don't need to use a big lamp. If you want to use a small lamp, since this is what you purchased, you can use that. I would just cure for a full 60 seconds. But again, if you're going to do your nails long term, you should invest in a full size lamp. The first one I ever used was from Amazon and it was about $30 and it did just fine. So now you're gonna use some rubbing alcohol. You're just gonna clean off the tips there to make sure there's no stickiness left over from that base coat. And now this is an added step as well. You can use a hand file. All I'm doing is making this more flush to the natural nail. Not a step that's necessary. It's just something that I like to do. You're gonna take a buffing block. This one here is from Young Nails, but I got this in a kit and also it's totally not necessary to spend a ton of money on a buffing block. So a normal buffing block will do the job. All you're doing again is removing that shine because we're gonna be adding a gel polish design. So I have another gel polish kit to review from Roslyn. They asked me to pick out uh, another one. So I picked out this one because of all the fall colors. We have this bright white color. We have another gray. The other ones were more of a gray blue. This is just more of a gray color. Another black we have here. We have this really bright orange color. We have a chocolate brown. And this iridescent white one is so pretty. I really wanna use that one. Then we have this peachy color, another pretty color, more for spring. And then another nude color here. The color that I'm gonna be using first is this nude color from the first kit that I reviewed. And I'm gonna apply two coats of this, curing in between each coat for a full minute. Both of these kits that I have here are from Amazon and I believe you can purchase them for about 14 or $15. And I do have a discount code that you can use below that you can use on Amazon as well. I'm such a huge fan of this color. I just think it is so pretty and perfect for base. 
So we're gonna bring back that trend, you know, of the swirls that was so popular last year and maybe even the last two years. But I'm gonna take a few of those browns. We're gonna add the orange and then a little bit of white. And we're gonna start doing a little swirly fall design. You're gonna need some nail art brushes. The one I'm using is a nine millimeter liner brush from Nails by Dev. Now, this is not what you can purchase on Amazon, but I'm gonna link in the description box below the first ones that I ever used, which was from McCart, and you can purchase those on Amazon. I didn't have a plan here of how I wanted to do the swirls. I'm just kind of going with the flow, putting colors wherever I feel like they should go. Uh, the only thing I would have done differently here is I would have added a matte top coat. It is a lot easier to do nail art over a matte top coat, and I did not think to do that when I was doing the swirls. When you're using gel polish as nail art, just keep in mind that you might have to go over it more than one time to get the opacity that you're looking for. Nail polish or gel polish is not gonna have the same consistency as a nail art gel, so just keep that in mind when you're doing your nail art with polish. Also, I am flash curing in between each color, each line for a minimum of 30 seconds. So maybe you're wondering now like, hey, where am I gonna save hundreds of dollars by doing my own nails? So I'm gonna break it down for you. Let's say you spend $50 every two weeks to go get your nails done. So that's $100 a month. Now, personally, I don't think I've ever spent less than $60 to get my nails done, but to keep it even, we're gonna do 50 bucks. You get your nails done every two weeks, $50 every two weeks, $100 a month times 12 is 1200 bucks. Everything that I've used in this video, I priced out, including a lamp and a nail drill that I used prior to the Kerasky ones that I have now, all on Amazon is $126 with coupons attached to that. Each case of the Unigella nails has a total of 504 pieces in it. Now that's with 12 sizes. You only need 10 sizes and there's 42 nails in each size. So you take that 42 divided by two because you have two hands and now that's gonna give you 21 sets. Now 21 sets is gonna last you, if you do every two weeks, 42 weeks. So there is 10 more weeks out of the year that you've gotta think about since we did the 100 times 12. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna add another case of the Unigella nails at $12.99, and now that gives us a total of $138.99. Now this doesn't even include like if you were to fill your nails at two weeks, like I wouldn't go longer than two weeks, but if you wanted to fill your nails with builder gel at two weeks, you could certainly get these to last three or four weeks. I've done pills on my channel before, and I will link it down in the description box below if you need to know how to do that. So you have $139 as opposed to the $1,200 that you would spend in a year. And that saves you over $1,000 a year to do your own nails at home. Now, if you wanted to be more advanced and you wanted to get rhinestones or charms, things like that to put on your nails, let's say you spend another hundred bucks on something like that, you're still saving hundreds of dollars to do them yourself. And that was the point of this video. Money-wise, it makes sense. On the other hand, you have to put the time and the effort in to learn how to do them and to do it quickly. I've been doing my nails over a year now and I'm still not fast at this. It takes me hours to do my nails. So you just have to have patience. You have to have the time to be able to do it. So people who go spend money on nails, like I totally understand. Not everybody has the time or the patience to be able to do something like this. But I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this nail set and how it turned out. I think it turned out cute and perfect for fall. Check out all the links in the description box below to the products that I use and all the discount codes I have available. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. I will catch you in my next one. Bye.